Jeremy Simon here with 3D Universe. Just wanted to give you a quick demo of a, a prosthesis that I just finished for a, a little girl. This is the Cyborg Beast, the same one that I, I showed in a couple of other recent videos. But this one is made out of the new bridge nylon material, which is uh, uh, proved uh, quite nice. It's still, you know, not without its challenges uh, in terms of printing, but uh, much improved compared to other types of nylons. And it's got a terrific strength and other properties like heat resistance and chemical resistance. So uh, this is made with that new bridge nylon from Tallman3D.com and uh, really pleased with how this came out. It's got really nice smooth movement and I think part of that is actually because of the nylon material. Nylons have a very slick surface and uh, so I think that's actually helping to give a really smooth sort of motion to this. And the, uh, the other thing that I sort of learned along the way that might be useful for others trying this is for nylon, if you do end up having to glue something, there were a couple of places that needed a little bit of glue, uh, other glues won't stick well to nylon because of that slick property of the surface. So what I found is the best way to go is a hot glue gun. Uh, one of these little wireless, uh, cordless deals, uh, stuck on the stand, something like this, and uh, once that's heated up, the hot glue right on there will, will really nicely uh, bond into the surface and, and bond that. So hot glue gun, I'm told that uh, silicone caulk works as well, I haven't tried that, but the hot glue definitely works quite nicely, so uh, I would recommend that if you need something. But uh, otherwise, I, I'm quite pleased with how it came out. As you can see, I'm leaving these cords uh, much longer than usual because in this case, it's for a little girl that uh, is, is actually missing her, her left arm from a, around here. And so the, there's another team that's going to take over now and, and work on a modification to this to uh, extend it into an arm-based device to operate off of elbow movement instead of the typical wrist movement. And they plan to share that back to the community when it's done, so that's very exciting. But I uh, just wanted to, like I said, give a quick demo of how this came out, which is quite nice. As you can see, pretty clear, clean print overall. And uh, I think the, the nicest thing is that that smooth motion uh, really seems to be an improvement uh, over other materials. So uh, there you go. Quick demo of the Cyborg Beast in Bridge Nylon. Talk to you guys soon.